it's me, Tree. It is Vlogmas Day 19. I swear it's like Nano, you get like almost to the end and you're like, can I just be done? Can I yeet myself to the void? Why did I do this to myself? I think it's just because I'm having a rough mental health month. I miss my parents. For those of you who don't know, both of my parents are dead. My mom died when in 2012 when I was in grad school. And my dad died in 2017. My mom was extremely unexpected. And my dad, I don't want to say wasn't unexpected. That's probably the way to phrase it. Wasn't, wasn't unexpected. He had been sick, he'd been in the hospital, but he was getting better. We were all in crash, crash positions because he'd been in the hospital, but he'd been getting better. And then he didn't. And then last year I got sick. So yeah, I'm, I'm and it's like my, my mom and my grandma both died in Octobers of different years. My dad died in September. And I got sick in November, end of November, beginning of December. So the autumn and early winter are really bad on my mental health and have been for a really long time. And, you know, it's particularly bad in December because of winter holidays and festivities being, and festivals being things you do with your families. And it's like, growing up, my dad was always the one who, well, okay, growing up when we could afford it which after I was about five was basically never, but I have very, very strong memories of my dad taking me to see the Nutcracker and my mom taking me to see a Christmas Carol on stage, which I always think that's kind of sweet that my dad is the one who took me to ballet and my mom is the one who took me to horror movies. It wasn't a movie, it was a stage production, but you get the point. But yeah, that was very much how my parents were. It's like, my dad liked opera, my mom liked musicals. I benefited from both. It's like, my dad liked James Bond, and... <laughs> I don't... I, I, I grew up with such a rich breadth and depth of exposures to things that it's been really... It's been really important in my life. And to have parents who were so exceedingly open-minded and didn't just speak of tolerance, they, it was acceptance, it was celebration. Literally, the, the first conversation I had with my mom about anything remotely queer was, is it okay for boys to like boys and girls to like girls? And my mom's response was succinctly, why wouldn't it be? And if that isn't the most badass celebratory thing. I don't know what it is. And when I introduced my dad to one of my trans friends, my dad just wholeheartedly accepted it. Just went, all right, okay. And did his best. So yes, I miss my parents and I miss them a lot right now. completed the 10 festive Victorian dead birds. Now I just have to like address them and send them. I need to have a conversation with past tree because whatever they were thinking and that this was a good idea, 
they need to be kicked. But I think they turned out cute. I think. Goodest boy, bestest boy, all snug in a bug. Snug as a bug, because he is a bug. Blech, can't talk. Oh, he emerges. He emerges. Look at how beautiful he is. Are you coming out of your cocoon? Oh, oh, he's so glorious. That doesn't sound like me at all. Fatto Fiddle is now following. Thank you. All right, I'm going to put this here so we can see it going up. Yes. Now, to see donation messages, I have been using a combo solution. What I'm going to try to do is make the goose window smaller so there's more room. That blister says for the record, in front of Caitlin, says I'm getting a goose window for this. Nice. So, I. As per usual, I don't know if I'm going to talk more. So if I don't talk more, I'm going to do the ending now. So do good, be kind, be brave. Do the right thing, not the easy thing. Take care of yourself because the world needs you now more than ever. Encourage.